Hey, welcome back. It's Alan. Another common question I get is, how do I download a video that I find on YouTube or Facebook? First of all, I can't say they're all public domain, so you have to use your own judgment there, but technically there's certainly nothing stopping you from doing that. Uh, we'll start with YouTube. Say you find a video you like out on YouTube, okay, and you want to download it so you can use it in something that you're creating, or maybe use a portion of it in something you're creating. Okay, so maybe I want to use this Betty Boop cartoon or portion of it in something I'm creating. So you click Share, okay, under the video, and then you want to copy this shortened URL right here out of that text box, okay? And now go out to Google or Bing or whatever you normally use and just search for Download YouTube Videos. And I usually use this first one here, SaveFrom.net. Okay, now I'm just going to paste in that URL here at Save From Net and click this Go thing. I have several different options to choose from for how I want to download it. I'll go with the first one. I usually go with the first one, the MP4. That's a very common format. It downloads, and now if I click that and open up that Downloads folder, there it is. All right? Now I'm in Windows here, so I can right-click it and choose Properties and look at more information about it. But at this point, it's just like any other video on my computer and I can use it in iMovie or Camtasia or whatever you normally do your video editing with. All right, now it's the same basic idea for Facebook. You go go out to the Facebook video you want. All right, here's one. Say I want to download this and use it for something. I click it, it opens up, then I right click it and choose show video URL. That opens up the video URL here. I can click that and then right click it and choose copy so that I'm copying that URL. Okay, and again, just run out to Google. This time search for download Facebook videos. And I'll use this first one here, fbdown.net. Now watch out, they're trying to trick you here. Go for this enter Facebook URL one, hit download, and that'll take you, and they're trying to trick you again. I'll take the download video and HD thing here. Okay, and it downloads. This one's a bit longer, so it's going to take a little longer. I'll speed it up for you. Okay, then once it's downloaded, again, I can just go out to my Downloads folder. And there it is. Again, right-click it and choose Properties and Windows and go to Details on it and get the information about it. Okay. All right, so that's how you do it in Facebook. Basically the same idea in both. Let's just take a minute to talk about how you use any of this content you downloaded. And it doesn't matter how you downloaded it, you know, from the first lessons or this last lesson. Um, in Camtasia, then, you would uh, go into your media bin, click plus to import media, all right, and go out to the folder where you downloaded that file. Uh, here's the two I just did. I'll grab them both. Okay. Now they're in Camtasia. Alrighty. And now to use them in a video, I just drag them down to the timeline. Uh, I'm not going to try to teach a Camtasia here, but um, it's basically the same as any other video, something you recorded on the screen yourself or something you shot with your iPhone or whatever. Video is video. Okay. And the other one works the same way. This one has a really tiny screen, so on something like this, I probably, if you're just looking to use a part of it, what you can do is stretch it out to fill the canvas and then just um, grab the part you want just with the normal editing methods in Camtasia. Okay? Now, let's do the same thing on a Mac. All right, and we'll use uh, Safari as the browser and iMovie as the editor. Okay, so um, first you want to go out. We'll go ahead and do whole download and everything. I'll go out to YouTube, I guess, and um, find a video. This one happens to be right here. Okay, and um, then I will again click the share thing. Share again, like before. Same as in Windows, just using a different browser. Everything's the same, really. Okay, and then here's the address. I want to copy that. And the rest is exactly like in Windows. Go ahead and uh, 
go out to your favorite search engine and search for download YouTube videos because I'm doing YouTube this time. And uh, again, I'll use the exact same save from.net and just follow the exact same steps again. Paste in the URL. This part's exactly the same because we're in the browser. Okay, uh, this is a much larger movie. It's taking a little longer. I'll speed it up. Okay, so I'll go for, again, I'll go for this first one, MP4 at 720p. And then, oops, yeah, I don't need that. It's I can see up here it's already downloading, so I'll just close that. Oh, and then QuickTime opens to play it. I don't need that either. I'll just close that. But eventually it's it'll be saved, and then I'll, so I go out to my, uh, I'll open up iMovie, say. All right, and then I, I put it in my Downloads folder. So in iMovie, I'm going to Import Media, go out to my Downloads folder, and there I will sort them in reverse order by date. So the newest ones on top, there it is. Grab that, Import Selected, and there it is. Now it's an iMovie like any other video I created an iMovie, and I edit it using um, iMovie techniques. Okay, makes sense? If not, if I went a little too fast or skimmed over too many details for you, just go ahead and post any question you like, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again. Hope to see you around the net.